Welcome to Data Project Hub. In today's video, we will solve a complex SQL interview question. For that, I have created a table called as club table. Let me curate the table first and then let us go through the question. So here is the club table which has got three columns. The first column is club ID, the second column is member ID and the third column is rewards. Now let us go through the question. So we are given a club table which has three columns, club ID, member ID and rewards. So same member can be part of different club that is the same member 210 can be part of club 1001 and 1002 the reward column has different rewards so each of the value with respect to the reward column corresponds to different reward so mm correspond to one reward and ca corresponds to another reward similarly cd is another reward ca is another reward and cm is another reward and the points for each rewards are as follow so mm corresponds to 0.5 CI corresponds to 0.5, CO corresponds to 0.5 and the other CD, CL and CM corresponds to 1. Now we have to write a SQL query to find the total points scored by each club. So our aim is to write a SQL query to aggregate the reward points with respect to club ID. And I have created the expected result table in Excel. Let us go through that as well before solving the question. So here is the result table that we are going to obtain. So here we have club ID and the total points with respect to each club ID. Now analyzing the input table, we can see that corresponding to club ID 1001, the first record is having null and the second record corresponding to 1001 is having MM and CA. And there is one more record which corresponds to 1001, which has got reward ZO, CD, CL and CM. Now, Based on the value of each reward, we have to aggregate the reward points and we have to create a new column which is called the total points or group the final result based on the club ID. So this is the result that we are going to obtain. Now let us go back to SSMS and see how we can obtain this result. So we will start with a select close. Select and the columns which we require are the first column is club underscore ID and the second column which we require is the member underscore id column and here we are going to make use of another function in sql which is called the string split function so the string split function we are not going to use within the seller clause but in the where clause so in the seller clause as of now we will write only two column which are club id and member id now we will write the from clause that is from the club table and now we have to use another operator which is called the outer apply operator along with the string split function to get each value with respect to reward column in separate rows. For that we will write an outer apply over here outer apply then we are going to write the string underscore split function open and close parenthesis and the first argument with respect to string split function should be the reward column which is taken from the club table. So rewards comma and the second argument should be the separator between each value so here it is the full column so we will place that inside a single quote now we, we have completed the first part of the query but there is one more thing we have to add within the select clause that is a value argument so that we get each value with respect to reward column in separate rows so we will write the value and we'll name the column as reward now execute this and let us see what we are getting execute now we have obtained a result where we can see that we have a new column which is called the reward column but here in the reward column we can see that the rewards are no more concatenated but each reward are separated into different rows. So that is the difference that we can see from the initial club table and the result that we have obtained as of now. Now we have to substitute the reward with the corresponding value they are having. For that let us refer the question once again. So here these are the values with respect to each reward so we will paste it here for reference so mm ca and co it is 0 0.5 cd cl and cm it is one it is not i it is one now we will place this query inside the first cd that is with cd as open and close parenthesis and place the entire query inside the cd now we will write a second select close that is select now from the first CTE we require the club ID column that is 
club underscore id column and the second column which we require will be the member id and the third column will be the reward column so we will write the column names explicitly so when we take a look at the query later on it is easy for us to identify so the second column will be member underscore id and the third column will be reward from the cte1 this is taken from CT. Now we will write a case statement with respect to the reward column. So, case when reward in any of the three value which is mm, ca and co, mm, ci or co, then the value should be 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Now we will write a second when with respect to the same case statement that is when reward in CD, CL and CM the value should be 1. CD, comma the second value is CL and the third value is CM and then the value should be 1 else 0 and we will end the case statement as points. So this is the new column that we have obtained with respect to the reward column. Now let us run this query and see what is the output we are getting. Execute this and we will get a new column along with the reward column that is the point column corresponding to the reward that we have obtained in the previous CTE. Now we have to place this query also inside a CTE and CTE to us open and close parenthesis. Now we will remove this comment because it was copied only for reference. So after the second CTE, we will write a select close. Now the column which we require is the club underscore ID column. And now we are going to make use of aggregate function sum on the points column. And we will name the column as rewards. Now this is taken from CTE2 that is from CTE underscore 2. And since we are using an aggregate function based on the sum, we have to write a group by close also here. Group by club underscore ID. Now execute this and we will get the expected output that we were looking. So here we have the new club ID column along with the rewards with respect to each club ID. And from this result we can identify which club has won based on the rewards they have obtained. So this is one method of solving the query. And the main thing to focus here is the outer apply function and the string split function. Also we have to know how to use the value argument. Also coming down we made use of the concept of case statement. Similarly, we made use of multiple concept including aggregate function, group by close and lot of concept in this question. And I think it is a very good question to solve and try on your own. Thanks for watching and if you like this video, subscribe for more. Thank you.